good day i trust and hope that we've had a wonderful week and that we've been praying for each other even during this time our scripture for today comes from first samuel 17 from verse 45 and i will read david said to the philistines you come against me with sword and spear and javelin but i come against you in the name of the lord almighty the god of uh, the god of the armies of israel whom you have defied this day the lord will deliver you into my hands and I'll strike you down and cut off your head. This very day, I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds and the wild animals, and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. Verse 47, all those who gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. The battle is the Lord's, and he will give all of you into our hands. This afternoon, I was just reading this scripture and it's talking about how uh, David defeated Goliath. David com committed this battle into God's hands and he declared that indeed the battle is the Lord's and the Lord gave that battle to the Israelites. Today we might be going through different battles in our lives. There could be battles of addiction, battles of a wayward child, a wayward husband, battles of lack but we need to come to that point where we declare that you know in this battle that i am going through this battle does not belong to me it belongs to the lord so in this battle that you're going through declare that this battle belongs to the lord give it to god and see how god you know will change situations in your life if the word declares that you know that you are more valuable to him then what then is this battle it's nothing before him so we need to declare that in this battle that you're going through that it is done and it is the lord's leave it in his hands and he will do what he will do in the name of jesus i pray and hope that this word encourages somebody who's going through a very tough time and that even as you hear uh, this podcast that you will also engage and read your word and declare you know the promises of God that are in his word today is Wednesday we are engaging in life groups yeah if you're not in a life group please contact any one of the pastors and they will direct you to a life group that is nearest to you then on Friday we have got worship cafe I encourage you to in, uh, engage and attend worship cafe in your different campuses. Then on Sunday, we have our uh, services in our different campuses, in our various campuses, in Hatcliff, in Hopley, in Mondoro, and in Waterfalls. I encourage all of us to attend, you know, a Sunday service. Otherwise, have a lovely week and be praying for someone.